In the bustling colony of New Horizons, where the air hums with the chatter of alien tongues and the scent of exotic spices, Dr. Emily Parker's workshop stood as a beacon of human ingenuity. Surrounded by a clutter of gears, wires, and half-finished prototypes, Dr. Parker toiled tirelessly, her eyes alight with the spark of invention. It was on a crisp morning, the sun casting long shadows across the cobblestone streets, that an unexpected visitor arrived at Dr. Parker's doorstep. A holographic message flickered to life before her, displaying the smug visage of Zorgon the Magnificent, a Grixar entrepreneur known throughout the galaxy for his ostentatious displays of wealth and power. Dr. Parker, Zorgon's voice boomed, his tone dripping with condescension. I extend to you an invitation to the Galactic Innovation Expo, where the brightest minds of the cosmos will gather to showcase their inventions. Your presence, while undoubtedly amusing, is requested as a mere footnote in the grandeur of our event. Dr. Parker's brow furrowed as she listened to Zorgon's words, her fingers drumming nervously against her workbench. She knew all too well the disdain with which many aliens regarded human technology, dismissing it as primitive and insignificant compared to their own advancements. Yet despite Zorgon's thinly veiled mockery, a flicker of excitement ignited within her chest. The Galactic Innovation Expo was an unparalleled opportunity to prove humanity's worth to the skeptical denizens of the galaxy. With a steely resolve, Dr. Parker accepted Zorgon's invitation, determined to showcase the boundless potential of human ingenuity. As the holographic message faded into oblivion, Dr. Parker's workshop seemed to thrum with renewed energy. The hum of machinery grew louder, the air crackling with anticipation. With a determined glint in her eye, Dr. Parker set to work, her mind abuzz with ideas and possibilities. Little did she know, her acceptance of Zorgan's invitation would set into motion a chain of events that would forever alter the course of her destiny. But for now, in the quiet confines of her workshop, Dr. Parker allowed herself a moment of exhilaration, for the galaxy awaited her presence, and the stage was set for her to shine. In the heart of New Horizons, Dr. Emily Parker's workshop buzzed with activity. It was a cluttered yet cozy space, filled with the hum of machinery and the scent of metal and oil. Dr. Parker, a woman with a wild mop of curly hair and a twinkle in her eye, moved about the room with purpose. Her latest invention, a small device with intricate wiring and flashing lights, sat on her workbench. She eyed it with a mix of excitement and apprehension. This was her ticket to the Galactic Innovation Expo, her chance to prove humanity's worth to the skeptical aliens of Viridian. But as Dr. Parker tinkered with the device, doubts crept into her mind. Would it be enough? Could she truly impress the galaxy's elite with her humble creations? She glanced at the walls of her workshop, adorned with sketches and blueprints of past inventions, each one a testament to her ingenuity. Outside, the bustling streets of New Horizons echoed with the sounds of alien chatter and interspecies commerce. Dr. Parker's fellow inventors hurried past her workshop, their arms laden with tools and prototypes. Some shot her curious glances while others whispered among themselves, casting doubtful looks in her direction. But Dr. Parker paid them no mind. She was lost in her own world, lost in the thrill of creation. With a determined gleam in her eye, she returned to her workbench and set to work, her hands flying deftly over the device as she made adjustments and fine-tuned its mechanisms. Hours passed in a blur as Dr. Parker poured her heart and soul into her invention. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the workshop floor, but still she worked, fueled by passion and determination. Finally, as the last rays of daylight faded from the sky, Dr. Parker stepped back from her workbench and surveyed her creation. The device blinked to life, emitting a soft hum that echoed through the workshop. A smile spread across Dr. Parker's face as she realized that she had done it. With a sense of satisfaction coursing through her veins, Dr. Parker carefully packed up her invention and prepared to leave for the expo. As she stepped out into the bustling streets of New Horizons, she couldn't help but feel a twinge of nervous excitement. The Galactic Innovation Expo awaited, and Dr. Emily Parker was ready to take on the galaxy. The atmosphere crackled with tension as Dr. Emily Parker stepped into the grand hall of the Galactic Innovation Expo. Bright lights illuminated rows of booths showcasing the latest advancements in alien technology, each one more dazzling than the last. Yet amidst the splendor, Dr. Parker felt a knot of apprehension tighten in her stomach. Her eyes scanned the crowd until they landed on Zorgon the Magnificent, standing tall and regal at the center of the room. With his ornate robes and haughty expression, he seemed to radiate an aura of superiority that made Dr. Parker's heart sink. She knew that facing him would be no easy task. As she approached Zorgan's booth, she could feel the weight of his gaze bearing down on her. 
Without a word, he gestured towards her humble display of human inventions with a disdainful flick of his hand. Ah, Dr. Parker, he sneered, his voice dripping with condescension. I must admit, I expected more from someone of your reputation. These contraptions of yours hardly seem worthy of my attention. Dr. Parker gritted her teeth, refusing to let Zorgan's insults get the best of her. She squared her shoulders and met his gaze head-on, determined to defend the honor of humanity. Perhaps you underestimate the power of human ingenuity, she retorted, her voice steady despite the butterflies in her stomach. Our inventions may not be as flashy as yours, but they possess a charm and simplicity that you would do well to appreciate. Zorgon's lips curled into a disdainful smirk as he surveyed Dr. Parker's creations. Charm and simplicity, you say? I fail to see how such qualities could possibly compete with the sophistication of Grixar technology, but by all means, do enlighten me. With a flick of her wrist, Dr. Parker activated one of her inventions, a small, unassuming device that emitted a soft hum as it began to levitate off the table. The alien spectators murmured in surprise, their eyes widening with curiosity. This, my dear Zorgon, is what we humans like to call a hoverbot, Dr. Parker explained, a hint of pride creeping into her voice. Simple, yes, but effective. It may not have the bells and whistles of your advanced machinery, but it gets the job done. Zorgon raised an eyebrow, clearly unimpressed. And what, pray tell, is the job of this hoverbot? Dr. Parker's lips curved into a mischievous smile as she reached into her pocket and produced a small ball. With a flick of her wrist, she sent the ball soaring through the air, and the hoverbot followed it with uncanny precision, swooping and diving with remarkable agility. The job, she replied, her voice tinged with satisfaction, is to bring joy and wonder to those who witness it, and I dare say it does so quite admirably. For a moment, there was silence as Zorgan processed Dr. Parker's words. Then, to her surprise, a flicker of something akin to admiration crossed his face. Well played, Dr. Parker, he conceded, a hint of grudging respect in his voice. Perhaps there is more to human ingenuity than meets the eye. I look forward to seeing what else you have to offer. With that, Zorgan turned on his heel and strode away, leaving Dr. Parker to bask in the glow of her small victory. As she watched him go, she couldn't help but feel a surge of determination coursing through her veins. The battle was far from over, but she was more determined than ever to prove that humanity was capable of greatness, no matter what obstacles stood in their way. As the sun cast its warm glow over the bustling colony of New Horizons, Dr. Emily Parker found herself immersed in the cacophony of sounds emanating from her workshop. The air hummed with the whirring of machinery and the occasional clang of metal against metal as Dr. Parker feverishly worked on her latest invention. But beneath the surface of her outward determination, doubts gnawed at Dr. Parker's resolve like persistent pests. The upcoming Galactic Innovation Expo loomed over her like a storm cloud, casting shadows of uncertainty on her every move. She knew that the eyes of the galaxy would be upon her, eager to witness humanity's latest attempt at innovation. As she tinkered with wires and circuit boards, Dr. Parker couldn't shake the lingering feeling of inadequacy that clung to her like a stubborn stain. The memory of Zorgan's mocking laughter echoed in her mind, a constant reminder of the skepticism she faced from the alien community. With a frustrated sigh, Dr. Parker paused to wipe the sweat from her brow, her brow furrowed in deep concentration. She glanced around her cluttered workshop, taking in the array of half-finished inventions scattered haphazardly across the room. Each one represented hours of tireless effort and unwavering determination, but none seemed to possess the spark of brilliance she so desperately sought. Suddenly, a voice broke through the silence, shattering Dr. Parker's reverie. It was Zorgon, his tone dripping with condescension as he entered her workshop uninvited, a smug smirk playing on his lips. Well, 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 if it isn't our dear doctor. Parker, Zorgon sneered, his eyes glinting with amusement. Still trying to prove that humans are more than just a bunch of primitive apes, I see. Dr. Parker gritted her teeth, struggling to maintain her composure in the face of Zorgon's taunts. She knew that engaging him in a battle of words would only serve to escalate the tension further, but the temptation to put him in his place was almost overwhelming. Instead, she forced a tight smile onto her lips and replied, Just because our inventions may not be as flashy as yours doesn't mean they lack merit, Zorgon. You would do well to remember that. Zorgon chuckled dismissively, waving a hand in the air as if swatting away her words like pesky flies. Oh, spare me the platitudes, Dr. Parker. The fact remains that human technology pales in comparison to the wonders of the Grixar Empire. But I suppose you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? The jab struck a nerve, and Dr. Parker felt her temper flare like a wildfire in her chest. 
But before she could unleash the torrent of words bubbling just beneath the surface, she caught herself, swallowing her pride like bitter medicine. Instead, she took a deep breath, channeling her frustration into a steely resolve. She may not have had all the answers yet, but she refused to let Zorgon's arrogance dampen her spirit. If anything, his skepticism only fueled her determination to prove him wrong. With newfound determination burning bright in her eyes, Dr. Parker turned back to her work, her hands moving with renewed purpose. The road ahead may have been fraught with obstacles, but she refused to let anything stand in the way of her quest to showcase the ingenuity of humanity to the galaxy. For Dr. Emily Parker, the journey was just beginning, and she was determined to rise to the challenge, come what may. In the heart of the bustling expo hall, Dr. Emily Parker stands before a modest booth adorned with a vibrant array of curious contraptions. Her eyes gleam with determination, her fingers twitching with anticipation as she awaits the moment of revelation. Surrounded by a sea of alien spectators, their curious gazes fixed upon her, Dr. Parker takes a deep breath, steadying herself for the unveiling of her masterpiece. With a flourish, she lifts the veil shrouding her invention, revealing a seemingly ordinary device nestled within the confines of her workshop. At first glance, it appears unremarkable, a humble assemblage of wires, circuits, and blinking lights. The alien spectators murmur amongst themselves, their skepticism palpable in the air. But Dr. Parker pays no heed to their doubts, her gaze fixed unwaveringly upon her creation. With a steady hand, she activates the device, sending a ripple of energy coursing through its intricate circuitry. Instantly, the air is filled with a low hum, the lights flickering to life in a mesmerizing dance of color and sound. As if by magic, the once mundane device begins to transform before the astonished eyes of the spectators. Gears whir, pistons hiss, and panels slide open to reveal hidden compartments within. Alien onlookers gasp in amazement, their disbelief giving way to wonder as they witness the true potential of Dr. Parker's invention. With each passing moment, the device reveals new capabilities. Tools materialize from thin air, holographic displays spring to life, and even the laws of physics seem to bend to its will. It is a symphony of innovation, a testament to the boundless creativity of humanity. Dr. Parker's heart swells with pride as she watches the reactions of the alien spectators. For a brief moment, she feels a connection, a bridge forged between worlds through the power of invention. And in that moment, she knows that her perseverance has paid off, that she has succeeded in proving the worth of humanity to the galaxy at large. As the demonstration draws to a close, Dr. Parker stands amidst a chorus of applause, her invention hailed as a triumph of ingenuity. And as she basks in the glow of her achievement, she knows that this is only the beginning, that the future holds limitless possibilities for those brave enough to dream. The Expo Hall buzzed with anticipation as Dr. Emily Parker and Zorgan the Magnificent prepared for their final showdown. The air crackled with tension, each participant's determination palpable in the charged atmosphere. Dr. Parker stood tall, her eyes shining with a fierce determination. She adjusted her glasses nervously, her heart pounding with excitement and apprehension. This was her moment to prove the skeptics wrong, to showcase the brilliance of human innovation to the galaxy. On the other side of the hall, Zorgon lounged in his opulent booth, a smug grin playing on his lips. He exuded an air of arrogance, his confidence unwavering as he surveyed the crowd with disdain. In his mind, victory was assured, and Dr. Parker's feeble attempts at competition were nothing more than a mere formality. As the audience settled into their seats, the tension reached its peak. All eyes were on Dr. Parker and Zorgon, waiting with bated breath for the unveiling of their respective inventions. The hum of anticipation filled the air, a symphony of excitement and curiosity. With a dramatic flourish, Dr. Parker stepped forward, her invention cradled delicately in her hands. It was a small, unassuming device, its exterior simple and unadorned, but within its sleek casing lay a marvel of human ingenuity, a testament to Dr. Parker's creativity and skill. With a confident smile, Dr. Parker activated the device, unleashing its full potential upon the unsuspecting crowd. At first, there was silence, a moment of hesitation as the audience struggled to comprehend the true nature of her invention. Then, slowly but surely, a murmur of awe rippled through the crowd, growing louder and more fervent with each passing moment. Meanwhile, Zorgan watched with growing unease as Dr. Parker's invention captivated the audience's attention. His smug facade began to crumble, replaced by a flicker of uncertainty. Could it be that he had underestimated the capabilities of humanity after all? As Dr. Parker's demonstration reached its climax, the crowd erupted into applause, their admiration for her invention echoing throughout the hall. It was a triumphant moment for Dr. Parker, 
a validation of her years of hard work and dedication. But the showdown was far from over. With a defiant glare, Zorgon stepped forward to unveil his own invention, determined to reclaim the spotlight and prove his superiority once and for all. And so, the final act of the expo began, as Dr. Parker and Zorgan faced off in a battle of wits and ingenuity that would determine the fate of the galaxy. The expo hall buzzed with murmurs and whispers as Dr. Emily Parker's invention took center stage. The air crackled with anticipation, every eye fixed on the unassuming device in her hands. Zorgan the Magnificent stood opposite her, his expression a mix of skepticism and begrudging curiosity. Dr. Parker's heart pounded in her chest as she prepared to unveil her creation to the skeptical alien spectators. She could feel the weight of their expectations bearing down on her, but she refused to falter. With a steady hand, she lifted the device and activated it with a flourish. A hush fell over the crowd as the device sprang to life, emitting a soft hum that seemed to fill the entire hall. At first glance, it appeared no different from any other human invention, a simple contraption of wires and circuits. But as Dr. Parker began to demonstrate its capabilities, the true brilliance of her creation became apparent. With a series of deft movements, Dr. Parker manipulated the device, showcasing its versatility and ingenuity. It performed tasks with precision and efficiency, surpassing even the most advanced alien technology in its simplicity and elegance. As the demonstration drew to a close, a wave of murmurs rippled through the crowd. Alien spectators exchanged astonished glances, their initial skepticism replaced by awe and admiration. Zorgan, unable to conceal his surprise, begrudgingly nodded in acknowledgement of Dr. Parker's achievement. In that moment, Dr. Parker felt a swell of pride and vindication wash over her. She had defied the odds and proven the worth of human ingenuity to the galaxy. The applause that erupted from the crowd was music to her ears, a symphony of validation for all her years of dedication and hard work. With a triumphant smile, Dr. Parker bowed graciously to the audience, her heart soaring with the knowledge that she had succeeded where others had doubted her. As she stepped off the stage, she knew that this was only the beginning, the dawn of a new era of innovation and discovery for humanity. And with her head held high, she embraced the future that awaited her, ready to continue pushing the boundaries of what was possible. Dr. Emily Parker stood amidst the remnants of the Galactic Innovation Expo, her mind swirling with a whirlwind of emotions. The hum of conversation and the faint scent of exotic alien cuisine lingered in the air, a stark contrast to the cacophony of clashing egos and competing inventions that had dominated the event. As she surveyed the bustling expo hall, Dr. Parker couldn't help but feel a sense of disbelief wash over her. Just moments ago, she had stood on that very stage, facing off against Zorgon the Magnificent in a battle of wits and ingenuity. And against all odds, she had emerged victorious. But now, with the excitement of the expo behind her, Dr. Parker found herself grappling with a flood of conflicting emotions. There was pride, of course, in her own accomplishments and in the recognition she had earned from the alien spectators. But there was also a lingering sense of uncertainty, a nagging doubt that whispered in the back of her mind. Was it all worth it? Lost in thought, Dr. Parker wandered aimlessly through the expo hall, her footsteps echoing against the polished floors. She passed by rows of empty booths, each one a testament to the ambition and creativity of its creator. And as she gazed upon the myriad inventions that filled the space, she couldn't help but feel a twinge of envy. For as much as she had achieved, Dr. Parker knew that there were countless others out there who were still striving to make their mark on the galaxy. And as she thought back to her own journey, she realized that it was the struggle, the challenge of pushing herself beyond her limits, that had truly defined her. With a newfound sense of clarity, Dr. Parker made her way back to her workshop, the weight of the expo lifting from her shoulders with each step. And as she crossed the threshold and stepped into the familiar confines of her workspace, she knew that the journey was far from over. For Dr. Emily Parker, inventor extraordinaire, the future was a blank canvas, waiting to be filled with the bold strokes of her imagination. And with a smile on her face and a fire in her heart, she set to work once more, ready to continue pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity one invention at a time. As the final echoes of applause fade away, Dr. Emily Parker stands amidst the bustling crowd, a triumphant smile gracing her lips. The Galactic Innovation Expo has come to a close, but for Dr. Parker, this is only the beginning. With a sense of accomplishment warming her heart, Dr. Parker navigates through the throngs of spectators, her mind buzzing with possibilities. The events of the past few days replay in her mind like scenes from a vivid dream, the doubts, the challenges, and ultimately, the sweet taste of victory. 
Outside the expo hall, beneath the vast expanse of Viridian starlit sky, Dr. Parker takes a moment to savor the quietude of the night. The air is alive with the hum of distant spacecraft and the chatter of excited attendees. But amidst it all, she finds a sense of peace. As she gazes up at the twinkling stars above, Dr. Parker's thoughts drift to the future. There are endless horizons yet to explore, countless mysteries waiting to be unraveled. With each passing moment, she feels a renewed sense of purpose stirring within her, a hunger for discovery, a thirst for innovation. Turning away from the spectacle of the expo, Dr. Parker makes her way back to her workshop, the familiar surroundings welcoming her like an old friend. Here, amidst the clutter of half-finished projects and scattered blueprints, she feels most at home. Seating herself at her workbench, Dr. Parker retrieves a worn journal from a nearby shelf, a repository of ideas, musings, and dreams. Flipping through its pages, she is reminded of the countless hours spent in pursuit of her passion, the setbacks overcome, and the victories won. With a sense of anticipation building within her, Dr. Parker picks up her pen and begins to sketch, her thoughts racing ahead to the next invention, the next challenge waiting to be conquered. The possibilities are endless, the future brimming with potential. As dawn breaks over the horizon, casting its golden glow across the landscape, Dr. Parker sets aside her journal and rises from her seat. The journey ahead may be long and arduous, filled with obstacles and uncertainties, but she faces it with courage and conviction. With a final glance back at her workshop, Dr. Parker steps out into the dawn of a new day, her heart filled with hope and determination. The galaxy awaits, and she is ready to embrace whatever challenges lie ahead, armed with nothing but her wits, her creativity, and the boundless spirit of human ingenuity.